backed off or erratic for a few seconds. We know what the others are reading at the moment. Looks like the red's going to stay in the good, which is great. Ooh, it's trying to fall some. And I'm not touching anything while this is happening. Keeps wavering and then it wants to go down some every now and then. The blue's staying up really great. We're still right in the middle of the yellow area. Oh, I'm sorry. That was the green. Green's staying up great. The blue is still in the yellow area. And we're on the margin of the uh, yellow and the green area on the rig gun. It's like it's wanting to fall, actually. But uh, we did the uh, pretty much the most powerful rejuvenation that you can set this for, I believe, at the moment. That's what we did. And uh, we're going to go into the rest of the test and see if the, uh, I guess, the tracking or live tests uh, what they show and we might use clean balance afterwards I'm like really tempted right now to to try the rejuvenate again but I've heard that if you go crazy you can mess your tube up so you know regardless of what it says on the meters I'm looking for a monitor to have a good display I'm not looking for the meters to show me something that looks just absolutely perfect to me so okay let's go back up above the restore section. Okay. We did the restore after we done the emissions. Now, step two is tracking. Push and hold tracking button and adjust tracking control to set highest gun at set tracking mark on meter. Tracking is okay if the other two guns read in yellow area. Release button to return to emission test. If tracking is bad, proceed to restore. Okay, now what I have to do, I have to push this button down and rotate this adjustment until I, our best emission gun, which is the green here, until this meter falls down to about the beginning of the yellow. If you can't see it right above there, it's very hard to see. Right above there in black writing, it, it has a mark at that same area that says set tracking. And uh, if, if you can adjust that and get that meter right there at that mark, and the other two guns are still in the yellow, then it says tracking is okay. If tracking isn't okay, then you have to go ahead and go to the uh, uh, restore section. If I can wake my laptop up. You have to go to the restore section B. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do this. It's going to be hard for me to do. I'm going to hold the camera under my chin and try to do this adjustment so you can kind of see. <laughs> Okay, nothing happened. I couldn't adjust that at all. Um, the red gun and the blue gun are both staying in the yellow just by a little bit and the green gun is staying right in the middle of good. But uh, I couldn't get any kind of adjustment to happen. I pressed down the tracking button. I rotated this dial all the way out and back and it wouldn't adjust the, the needle on the green so I couldn't bring it up once, once I pressed that all the needles would drop all the way to the very lowest position and they wouldn't move up. I'm trying to get them to move up so that they'd be right in the middle of the yellow and the green which is the set tracking area. Uh, this one wouldn't even move and that's where I'm, I'm wanting to set it. If I could get it there and the others are in yellow then the tracking's good. It's not so it says uh, tracking's okay if the other two guns are in the yellow area. Release the button to return to mission test. If tracking is bad proceed to restore B. So we need to go to restore B. So here we go. Going back down. Okay. Restore section. Restore B, which is clean and balance. Okay. Select gun to be cleaned when G1K leakage is indicated in step one, but GK short lamp does not glow in restore position. Well, 
We didn't have any leakage or anything on these lights, and we didn't have any shorts, so. Uh, emission is good, but too low to track with other guns, and that is that is our problem. Uh, emission bad in life test. We haven't went to emission bad in life test yet. Emission is good, but too low to track with other guns is, is our problem right now. So set function switch to restore, which is our selector switch. Ours actually ours does say restore. That must have been a typo up above. Function switch, they, they said rejuvenate. So that was a typo in this PDF file. But now it says correctly, set function switch to restore, place rejuvenate clean balance switch to clean and balance and wait 20 seconds. We're going to do that. So there's our function switch. Going from test to restore. All of our meters have dropped down. And we're going to go from the rejuvenate, which is the more powerful, to the clean and balance. Flip our switch over, clean and balance. And I'm learning a lot about this just by doing this first process, especially making this video. Even though I don't know what I'm doing, I'm trying to be as careful as possible. Okay. So we have that set. It says, uh, set function switch to restore, place rejuvenation, or re rejuvenate clean balance switch to clean balance and wait 20 seconds. So it's probably been about 20 seconds by now. Push the restore button below meter for gun selected. Pointer will rise immediately. Hold button until pointer begins to fall. Release button when pointer falls to 0.2. Note, if pointer does not continue to fall, observe the G1K short lamp. If it glows, remove shorts before proceeding. Return to test. Wait for the reading to stabilize. Repeat step two and three. Repeat procedure if further improvement is required. If still unsuccessful, proceed to step C, rejuvenate. Okay, so basically we're doing the same thing. It doesn't tell us to go with like the strongest gun or anything. It just says uh, push restore button below meter for gun selected. We're going to go with the green anyway because that's what it said to do uh, when we're trying to do the uh, tracking adjustment. And uh, it says this time release the button when the pointer falls to 0 0.2. If the pointer does not continue to fall, you observe your G1K short lamp. There's your G1K short lamp. I haven't seen it light up yet, so we're in the clean balance. We've been on there for at least 20 seconds. We're in the restore position. I'm going to start with the green gun. We're going to hold it down just like we did with the other one until the meter rises and then falls again back to 0 0.2, which there is 0 0.2 at the tip of my finger. Here we go. Okay, pretty close. And I don't know if we should do the other guns or not. Maybe we should go back to the test for the tracking. That's what I want to try to do now. And I'm, I'm thinking that's what it wants me to do. So going back to, well, let me see. Let me look at the notes again, just to be certain. Try to look at it and go by it verbatim if possible. Push restore button below meter for gun selected. Pointer will rise immediately. Hold button until pointer begins to fall. Release button when pointer falls 0.2. Pointer's not continue to fall. Observe G1K short lamps. Okay. Since it just says push restore button below meter for gun selected, I'm I'm thinking that it wants you to do it for each gun, you know? We're going to try that. That's clean and balanced. It's, it's not as strong as the restore function or the rejuvenate function. So we're going to do it on each gun before we go back to the uh, set tracking mode. We're on clean balance. Okay, we're on the restore. I'm going to go ahead and go in the same order we did the last one. I'm going to do the blue gun. Here we go. And we'll stop when it gets down to 0 0.2. There it is. Move that off. Now we're going to do the red gun. I'm, I hope I'm doing this right. If I'm not, I'm sure somebody who knows more about this will comment on the video, and I hope they do, because I don't want anybody to mess up theirs. I don't have a whole lot invested in this setup, so I'm hoping I can just fix this monitor and learn something from the process. So here we go. I'm going to do the red gun. Waiting for it to drop to 0 0.2. And there we did. So we did the green balance to all three after we did the rejuvenate. And now we're going to go back to test. Okay, gotta wait for the meter to stabilize. They all pegged just a second ago. The 
red's reading up in the good, the green's still in the middle of the good. Now the blue is reading bad, actually, which I was hoping it wouldn't. Hope I didn't make an error. It's reading in the bad now. Back at our notes. Never saw the G1K short lamps on. Return to test. Wait for reading. Stabilize. Repeat step two and three. Oh, I didn't repeat step two and three each time. That's not a good thing. I should have returned before I done each gun. If still unsuccessful, proceed to step C, rejuvenate. Hope I didn't hurt anything, but there is a possibility. I may have. But let me go to the We're on test. Everything is stabilized. We're actually reading in the gun on, on the red gun. Still on the green gun, we're in the good. The blue is reading in the bad now. What I'm going to do is go to the so I have it on clean and balance. I'm going to go to the restore position and I'm going to try to do the blue gun again just in the clean and balance mode since I heard that's not too bad. Wait about 20 seconds or so. I'm going to do the blue gun again. And here we go. Okay. I'm going to test and wait for them to stabilize. Blue gun's falling into the bag. Red's still in good, so is the green. I'm going to take a minute and read over the notes and make sure I haven't went too far with something. Be right back. Okay, after my little blunder there, not going back to the test mode after I did the uh, clean and balance on the first gun, I actually done each gun in sequence without going back to the test mode. That was my fault for not being careful. But uh, I don't think I've heard anything. I went back through the rejuvenate process one more time with the blue gun and it got it up to the high part of the yellow. It was actually touching green. It kind of bounces around a little bit. It's not in the bad area anymore, but I'm not going to take too many more chances. But we're going to go back and try to see if we can't get the uh, tracking to work now since all of them are almost in the good area. I've heard a lot of people say that their guns didn't get out of the yellow, but they still look great after they did this, so I'm not going to take too much more chances with it. But I did that off camera because I wanted to read through the instructions real good and make sure I didn't miss anything. But uh, right now we're going to go back and try to do the uh, tracking. So we did the, uh, the rejuvenate because the tracking couldn't be corrected by clean and balance. So I'm going to go back up above the restore section. Okay. We were on tracking. We're going to redo that test again. Push and hold the tracking button. Adjust tracking control to set highest gun at tracking mark on meter. Tracking's okay. The other two guns will read in the yellow area. Release the button to return to emission test. If tracking's bad, proceed to restore B, which is what we had to do. Okay. Like I said, press this button and rotate this and the best gun is this one right here. All these meters are going to fall as soon as I press the tracking button. When they fall, we want to adjust the knob above there for the tracking until we get this up right between the yellow and green, which there's a marker above there that says set tracking. If we can do that and the other two meters come up into the yellow area, we should be good on the tracking. So I'm going to try to do that. See if I can do it with one hand. 